All right, bro, we're going we're gonna to face the East. All right. All right. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostle GMS who rule well. Salute you, brothers, for pushing this word. And truth to the strength of power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters, growing and trusting the spirit of power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, too. All right. We are here to prophesy the downfall of the wicked, destructive kingdom known as Babylon, the great side of the more Egypt, Assyria, all those ancient empires bought up into one controlled by Esau, Edom, and got the elect out of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans because those are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, the Negro Latinos and Native Americans, and got the elect out of them by the word and power of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. But those are the only ones that's going to repent and come back to Yahweh Bashem al Shai in true sincerity. All right, we're going to start off in Romans the, uh, 13 and uh, 11. All right, this is, uh, this is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah, right. So you see what's going on in the world concerning Ukraine and, uh, and the gas prices, the inflation. You see what's going on, man. So it's high time to wake up out of sleep, you know. Come back to your how about you was shot. And uh, what you see Joe Biden doing as far as the sanctions uh, on Russia, really, those sanctions is hurting the uh, American people and uh, I mean the, the middle class people of America and the middle class people of uh, Europe. That's what they aiming at, man. Okay? That's what they aiming at. It's all a uh, smoke screen like they going after the elites and like they really hurting uh, Putin and the oligarch with the elite. Nah, man. That What's going on concerning them sanctions is hurting the average uh, American citizen, man. And then you got Joe Biden scrambling uh, asking Saudi Arabia to uh, pump oil. You got them scrambling to ask uh, Venezuela the pump oil. I don't know if it changed uh, if Saudi Arabia finally answered the phone for uh, Joe Biden. I don't know, but you know, time will tell. And I don't know if Venezuela gonna switch up. You know, uh, I don't know if Venezuela gonna switch up and so they can get some of them sanctions uh, lifted. But you know, uh, Joe Biden is scrambling to uh, get more oil so the gas prices can go down, but it's all a scheme, it's all a, it's all a hurt the American people, man. That's what it's doing, man, it's hurting the American people, man, you know? And then inflation is uh, uh, gonna get worse, you know? Hurt the American people's pockets. So it's hard time to wake up out of sleep because this empire that you know as America is uh, crumbling, man. You know, it's crumbling, man. Uh, I mean, see, I came, I came across a video. I didn't know if I had to send it to you. Okay. Where Venezuela is actually welcoming the the Russians over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you Russian, know, uh, the Russian, Russian uh, tourism uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, they not, they not, uh, uh, they not saying that the Russian. Uh, can't come and finish what they welcome the uh, the Russian citizens for uh, uh, if they want to tour uh, right. Venezuela, man. You know they doing their thing, man. But like I was saying, uh, we shall see if Venezuela turn to get some sanctions uh, lifted off of to where they can pump more. They they can't just all of a sudden start pumping oil to where. To take down the gas price, nah, man. It's gonna take time. It's a process, man. You know, it's a process that that uh, comes with it. You know, but and then they talk about uh, asking Iran, uh, Iran, uh, to uh, allow them to uh, get oil. The United States allow them to get oil from uh, them. You know, they want oil from uh, Iran too. You know, so that's out there, man. 
America is going to end up being alone, man. All American allies is going to uh, turn on them, man. You know? All American allies are going to turn on them, man. It's just that we got to wait everything out. But the most high, y'all watching on the is giving the Israelites the elect out of them grace before he get rid of this place, man. You know? So, read that again, folks. This is, uh, this is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of dark darkness, and let us put on the armor of the light. So yeah, the armor of light is the righteousness concerning the scriptures, man. Coming back to Yahweh Shemel But darkness is sin, contrary to Yahweh Shemel So put on the armor of light, man. Which is coming back to Yahweh Shemel and serving them in true sincerity and embracing your nationality and embracing who they are. So verse 13, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting or drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness. Yeah, all that partying. That's what they're going right into. All that partying and having sex, you know, that's what that goes into. But that's what happens when you go out and party, you look for women that you can deal with. Right, right. Okay? So, and when you go out, sometimes when you party, uh, you end up fighting. So you gotta watch out for that too, but brothers in the truth is not uh, participate in things like that. Because as you know, according to the scriptures, it said put off the uh, works of darkness, okay? A lot of people that's out there in them clubs and partying, they got spirits on them, okay? And you don't want to be around and you want to avoid that, okay? Because it's high time to wake up out of sleep, you know? It, it's time for you to get yourself together with Yahweh Shemel Shai that he may show you mercy, okay? Uh, show you mercy in the time that's coming up on the earth, okay? So you want to get yourself together, man. All right? So we're going to, uh, that's it on that. Uh, not in strife and envy. Mm -hmm. Being it's jealous it. of one another. You know? Being jealous of one another. Put, put, put off that, man. You're supposed to be brotherly. You know? And watch out and take care of each other, man. As Israelite brothers, man. So, we're giving you a warning about that right there. You know? Don't be out there with the demons, man. People got spirits on them, man. You know? So. We're going to jump to what? Corinthians? First Corinthians. Chapter 15. Come. All right, this is, uh, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Yep. For, some have, for some have not the knowledge of the Most High. I speak this to your shame. Yeah, because you got a lot of people, you know, don't have the knowledge of the Abashim Al Shah. Okay? We got a lot of people like to know the Native Americans don't have the knowledge of the Abashim Al Shah. They have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. You know, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. As it says in, uh, what's that, Romans, the uh, 10th chapter? Matter of fact, go back over there. The Romans, the 10th chapter. Top. And then we're going to go back to uh, 1 Corinthians 15. All right, this is, uh, this is Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. Verse 2, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High but not according to knowledge. They don't know. They don't know according to the scriptures. Okay? They don't understand according to the scriptures. Right? 
of the Most High. See, our people have not submitted themselves under the rule of the Heavenly Father and Son according to the Scriptures. They do whatever they want to do, however they feel. They ain't applying the Scriptures, which is able to save their soul. Okay? That's it on that particular verse. Okay. Uh, give me uh, James 1 and uh, 20. James 1 and 20. chapter 13 verse 9 if any man have an ear let him hear it. he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity mm -hmm. he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and the faith of the saints so anybody put a nation in slavery they gonna go in slavery did Jake's gonna teach that he said he'll tell you God loves everybody but according to the Bible the, the true biblical Israelites are the Negro Lights of the Native America. And they were in slavery in America. And so called white people put the Negro Lights of the Native America in slavery. So they're going to go in slavery. According to the white people, T.D. ain't going to tell you that. This is Revelation. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See? He and Jake ain't gonna read that. Give me Revelation 2 and 26. Revelation 2 and 26. This is uh, Revelation chapter 2, 
Verse 26, when you read this Bible, what he's going to read right now, that's in the read. That's who the word in the regard of Jesus is speaking right there. Now listen what he's going to say about the son of the king. So, yeah. so Revelation chapter 2, verse 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So if you got power over the nations, you got influence over the nation, and the nations that you have influence over, they're going to be enslaved. That's in the red. That's in the word. And then we call Jesus is speaking right there. T.D. Jakes ain't going to tell you that. Go ahead. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to, to shivers. Yeah. So that's slavery. Slavery is going to be in the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth. It just, the role is going to be reversed. So-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans will be ruling, and all the other nations gonna be enslaved up under. That's what's coming. Kenny Jakes ain't told you that. He told me a lot. He ain't told you that. If your line go back to a T.D. Jakes ain't told you the nationality of so-called white people on this earth. He ain't told you that. The nationality of so-called white people on this earth are Edomites, according to the Bible. I don't know what Edomites is. See? No, I I have I don't, I don't know all the words, I but I'm learning. I understand that. Well, learn about the if your line go back to a uh, I don't know your what's your father that's now. I am Cherokee, Blackfoot, Native American, Native American, Native American French, German, are you Irish. Are you? I am. Yeah, ain't no way you can be all. Yes, I am. On my, on my father's side, I am Creole and Blackfoot by my grandmother from South Louisiana. Creole. Well, what's his father? What was his father? He's got German and Irish in him. And I didn't know we had German in us until I cleared my Aunt Trisha's house you know, you and know. found a, I found a picture of my papa Murphy's, looked just like him, but it wasn't him. And it was on a very nice expensive placard with a nice swastika under and I'm like what is this we've never heard that we had German we've never heard that his name was Billy that's a German name we didn't know that and that's a German guard or something the name is is a do you know do you know the real Germans and the real Irish were black did you know that I knew they were black Irish yes yes People don't see me and see black. No. I grew up. The, I grew up in with, a. You're dealing with the spirit. That's right. You're dealing with the spirit. But I'm just telling you that the Germans, the real Germans, were black, I and the know. Irish was black. I knew right. they were black Irish. I didn't know that until oh, 2006. Yeah, I'm saying black so you can understand. But I understand. But they really, really were Israelites, right? Okay. The right. Now, going back to Esau, Esau is the biblical father of the so-called white people that you see walking around here. When you read the Bible and you read about Esau and Edom, he is the progenitor of the so-called white race that you see walking around here. They put the term white on them in 1681, right? They made a law in 1681. And then the word Caucasian, they go back to the Caucasus Mountain, which means cave dwellers. That's not their nationality, right? Over there in South of Russia, the Caucasus Mountain. That's not their nationality. A man by the name of Johann Blumenbach put that term, which he was a so-called German. Then when you deal with the word Europe, it go back to a black woman who was on uh, the island of Creek named Europa. So those, those terms right there do not, uh, it's not the nationality of so-called white people. When you read the Bible, everybody got a nationality according to the Bible. But I'm going to let, let him finish this off, then we're going to jump to Genesis 9, 9 and uh, 18. Go ahead, bro. It says, even as I received of my father. So, who the world in the record Jesus is saying right there, it's going to be slavery in the kingdom. Read it one more time from the top. 
All right, this is uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. And it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and uh, so like, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. And I will give him the morning star, he that hath an ear, let him hear, that the Spirit said unto unto the churches. So there you go right there. So give me Genesis uh, chapter 9, verse uh, 18. Dealing with Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Genesis chapter 9, verse uh, 18. All right, this is, uh, this is Genesis chapter 9, verse 18. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Ham is the father of, of Canaan. Mm -hmm. Verse 19. These are the three sons of Noah, mm -hmm. and of them was the whole earth overspread. So everybody comes out of the sons of Noah. You got Shem, Ham, and Japheth. All right? That was after the flood. All right? And the earth was repopulated. Right. So dealing with that, everybody has a nationality according to the Bible. All right? It's just been hid from the people. And T.D. Jakes don't teach that. See, T.D. Jakes teach, it be uh, uh, John 3.16. This is what T.D. Jakes will go to. See, this is a- uh, Okay, can I ask you a question before you read that? I, I'm trying to follow you because he's taught me so much. I mean, I came back to God listening to him. I haven't heard anything that I've read following what he said that wasn't biblical. I'm not understanding how he's bad. How he's, he's not, not teaching, teaching right. Bible right. He's not teaching the Bible right. Okay. The Bible belongs to the Negro Lachi Nova Native American. Right. That's who the Heavenly Father and Son got a covenant with. That's who the world, that's who the world in the record Jesus died for, the children of Israel. He was sacrificed for the children of Israel, not everybody. T.D. Jakes don't tell you that. See? Right there, right there off top, he's going way off because he's not telling you that the Bible is for the children of Israel. Okay? That's what the Bible is for, not for no other nation. Salvation is only for the children of Israel. Go ahead. We uh, started the 16. What I mean, uh, what, uh, John 3 started the uh, 14. This is John chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the, the, the serpent in the wilderness. Do you know what that's talking about? Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. You know what that's talking about? The serpent in the wilderness? No, no. That's that, going back to the book of Numbers, when the Israelites was in the wilderness. You know you know about that? No. See, T.D. Jakes ain't touched. But I, but no, I'm, what is, what is I'm, li I'm limited. I hey, only had so much. Uh, Are you guys only going to? We'll leave you work there with them. We'll go to what we're. Okay, doing. yeah. Tell me where you're going, and I'll come we're, back. We're going to Edwards. We're going. What? We're going to the grocery store and everything. We'll be back. You'll be here. Do you want? Oh to yeah. Go? You yeah. Want well, they're fixing to go in just a minute. I'll come those. that way if you'll tell me where to go. Just go straight this way. Okay. Edwards grocery store. It's gonna be a little. Okay. Got it. Okay, sugar. I'll be there. 